What? I don't understand it. Let's redo the van. We have made it over to the bed area and we're going to be making our new bed platform. We have obviously made the bed a lot smaller. It's basically a square now. So we have to have a spot for our feet. And the spot for our feet is going to be on slides. We're gonna have two cushions for those slides that are the bed material. We're also going to have a little bit of storage behind where the slides are out the back doors. And on top of the mounts for the slides is going to go to the new platform for the bed. So the bed is going to be a little bit higher, but honestly, not as high as it was before because we had a bunch of storage under the bed. This time the bed is going to be nice and flat. We're going to cut holes in the platform for the bed so that it has some circulation of air. The hardest thing about this part of the project, we already have a bed platform. And the way that we made the bed before was with this notch which as you can see on this side is lower this side is lower so that the bed didn't slide through up to the front we kind of learned that that's not really a big risk so we have to cut into this big notch here in order to have the slide sitting there that is our tricky moment we're not sure how we're going to cut it we cut this gram hole pretty artistically with a hole saw and then a jigsaw after it but this notch is so thick, it's an awkward angle. So right now Danny's cutting this piece of plywood so that we can add that other storage space right there. We already have the, the beams that go this way, which the slides will attach to, but we need some that will go also sideways. Then after that, we're going to have to cut this notch and I'm really, I'm a little, I'm pretty worried about it to be honest. I'm not sure how we're going to do it and slightly dangerous. But once we get this notch out, smooth sailing from there. Everything is pretty straightforward after that. Building furniture is a lot easier than building cabinets. So, but we'll see because hinges and slides are also like the bane of our existence. So we'll see what happens. Hi, what's yeah. up? This piece is supposed to fit right in here. Is it gonna fall up? Nope. We got this little collapsible table for $15 in Mexico. Love that. Check it out. It's gonna fit perfect. Now we have to cut this line right here. The bed slides, that's where we want them. That's what works. We can't get this out of the van. This is really in here, honestly. I figure we got three options. Jigsaw, circular saw. It is deep enough. And the last option, a vibrating saw. Basically plunge cut a million times to get across. So I don't want to do that. I feel like it's really hard to get that straight. I kind of messed up over here when I did it. Emily painted over it. Great job, Emily. Yeah, so I think that's kind of the rundown. Do you have any more saws we could use maybe? <laughs> this is a scary moment. We're about to forever change a part of the van and that is scary. A raccoon that I'm a little worried about because shouldn't they be asleep? <laughs> well, he's not running at us and we do have power tools. Oh my God, I love raccoons, don't you? Yeah. Raccoons are actually really smart and how they have an opposable thumb, so cool, you know? Yeah. They're like little peoples. And they've managed to live in urban environments. A lot of animals have become extinct. Ready with some ear protection. With eye protection, us both. It's gonna work. Looks good, huh? Yeah, it does. I, it didn't look that dangerous. So the jigsaw is working pretty good for these vertical cuts, but now to get onto this track, we're thinking maybe we will try to plunge cut there. And we're just gonna sand that one flat. Oh, well. I don't even think that the jigsaw hole is gonna fit in there. No. Not gonna fit in there, huh? Or you can do the drill just to start it. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, let's get more power tools involved. That'll do. Jigsaw has proven very useful. Oh, ah. look at that. Leaning against the straight edge on the bottom and get a good straight cut. It's impossible to clamp this here. So I had to cut a couple of spots so now we can actually get the clamp in. <laughs> What a project. Danny asked me not to record it because he was a little worried it wouldn't work, but I did anyway. And look how perfect this cut is. Wow. Good work. Okay, so now I just gotta move this. All right, let's relocate the clamps. 
Look at all the sawdust. We're vacuuming at night. Okay, that's as much as I can cut with that, but I'm really glad that we used that. It's kind of stressful trying to get it perfectly straight. So how'd you get that edge nice and clean? Oh, nice. Getting one more power tool out. Sand <laughs> this down. So today we got a couple odd jobs we're fixing up real quick. Emily's getting these uh, equipment back in that we took that she took down to paint. But right now what I'm gonna do, the water system you really have to keep from freezing. So we got this heat tape here, which there's a switch up here you can turn on that will heat up the, the lines. And it uses about 30 watts, 25 watts it looks like, to reduce the energy needed to keep the water system from freezing. I'm gonna insulate here in the bottom. Closed cell foam stuff again, and looks like it fits in here like a glove. Um, it's perfect width. Do the walls a little bit, cause the, the water tank honestly um, has about a little bit on each side. So I think that'll be really nice to have this stuff on the walls. For this tube here, some insulation like this, warm and toasty in there. If you touch the wall, very cold. Here, not cold. Guess I gotta put the uh, stuff back in here now. Oh, check it out from the back. I love how clean stuff is right now. But I was able to use this from the pump along the heat tape up to the sink as well. Not having to worry about the water system freezing, extra storage space in there. Right now we're figuring out these slide out tables that will be the foot of the bed and also a table. I got the four sides cut, the tops cut for both of these. You gotta be careful with slides cause like, oh, that has to be this much off. I think we got it right this time. Now Emily's doing all the pocket holes so we can assemble the John. Couple steps left and we'll be seeing something slide out of here. And then we're gonna build, you know, a bed platform above that. We're just gonna make sure that these pocket holes are all facing the right way. I got the wood glue. I'm Gonna wood glue it in. Danny need a pocket hole, screw it. Wood glue pocket hole it to the table. Get the slider, zip zaps off that end. This but is where our feet go, and also we can work here. Next. Like a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We tried to get this in right here. This is stressful. Is this gonna slide? If I move the clamp, the rail stayed. That's good. It works! Ah! First try! And it locks out. It locks. Holy moly, it's so strong. Okay, now it's locked. Out. That's a real table you can work on, you can yeah. eat on. Say goodbye to Carpal Tunnel, am I right? Oh, so important in the van ergonomics when you're working. And we're still gonna stain this. Slide. Look at that precision there. You gotta get. Ooh, they said plus or minus a millimeter. Okay, next one. We had the table hang over the slide a little bit. Just because we know that with our other table slide, the slide quickly becomes completely full of crumbs. So it makes the slide like not work as well. And whenever we swipe the, the crumbs off, it won't immediately go into the slide. Like a teensy bit more difficult to make. I think it's gonna be worth it because we're not gonna lose the slide to crumbs. Wearing your Alaska shirt from when we drove up to Alaska before I we basically drove. didn't wear this the entire South America trip because I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to wash the shirt. I would have to give it to somebody else to wash. And I thought, <laughs> they're gonna ruin it. So I didn't wear it. First step was we took out the part of the slide that comes out here. We know we want this to stick out a half inch. That's gonna be our doors that go on the front of this. So we're gonna mark that. It's nice having this new table to do this on. <laughs> <laughs> After doing all the measuring and everything, this has to be just level with that. So we're gonna put this in the front where we want and we're gonna hold this and screw that in there. It's pretty funny because I was looking, trying to find directions or instructions and they're just like, it's easy. <laughs> what this is like table. the table we always needed. Yeah, seriously. I thought that changing the bed would give us a table. There we go. It's a little bit tight in this one, eh? Yeah. I think it's okay. Just push it down. Oh, it's fine. It's Inches. incredible. It is so tight. I can't believe it. I can't believe we did such a good job. Danny's using these blocks as basically the clamps to hold the slide in the right spot. Okay, babe, my feet don't have any place to be. Can you scoot this in for me? Uh, this work. It worked. I can't believe it. What? I can still put more screws in it before we test much weight on it. But why don't you give it a full open, full close? 
Wow. Oh, that's locked. What? I cannot believe that this worked. Our bed is gonna be so much nicer. I wanna get the bed in here tomorrow. Plenty of room. I mean, honestly, right? Oh, that's like with your head at the end, how much extra room you have in the bed? Yeah. Check out our new bed. So today we're cutting the bed frame that's gonna go on top of those slides. Cover it up, mattress on top, slides below. Hi. I'm cutting the piece that'll go from here forward to the end of the slides. You need two pieces because of the size. So we decided if we go this way, we can hide the seam in the middle. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a new day despite me always wearing the same outfit. Today, we're going to get done some finishing touches. I'm installing this edge banding, which is basically just some wood that they made it into basically a tape form that you heat to apply and i'll use an iron to apply it we're using it for all of the plywood edges so that it looks more finished and then but this time i'm actually going to stain it i want to make sure that no sawdust falls into these slides so i made sure to tape it really really well i'm excited to stain it it's gonna look so good oh look at that there's a slide underneath that it's so hidden. The next under the bed piece, but it's a little bit trickier because if you look in here, you know, the van has this corner right here. Scribed it with the same method I've been doing. You kind of put the, the pencil in it and go along the edge, try to keep it straight. And we got here the shape, the moment of truth. Here we go. I'm putting some holes into the bed base so that this time hopefully we don't get any mold in our mattress. Oh, oh my gosh, having a real hard time here. Let me explain. These gas struts here are awesome the way they can lift up a door, but they are a bit tricky. Um, it wouldn't be so bad, except that when this strut is fully compressed, the distance is longer than the distance here where the top shelf is. Oops. So when it closes, it pivots up and it hits here. Trying a million ways to get it to work the way I had the shelf. Not happy. I had to take out the shelf and I'm going to cut just a little bit off the front because look, it works great like this. Stays shut opens up nice all the way to the top that i want now i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel just gonna have to cut a bit off the back of the shelf you know oh well i am in the middle of pa painting the base of the bed and at the same time i have decided that i was going to start chopping up the mattress so that it fits inside the van let me show you how that's gonna look I'm using a regular bread knife to cut this mattress. I got it on Amazon for cheap and made sure there was no fiberglass in this one since I am opening it up and cutting off our feet. <laughs> I'm super tired. We have another thing we're going to do is stain the wood and then we have to wait a couple hours for it to dry after we're going to screw down the top of the base of the bed and then bring the mattress out here. But I am also really, really tired and we've been working nonstop for so long. So it's a big, it's been a big project. I'm hoping we can sleep in the van tomorrow night and that'll be possible if we can get this stain on and have it not stinky in here. I wanted to see how it turned out before I showed you how I did it. And it actually looks pretty good. So I'll show you how I did it. So this is the one that we started with. And now this is the color that it is. All right, so we're gonna stain this piece. First step is we're gonna, we just shook up this. It says to stir it. I guess some of them say like, don't shake it, just stir it. But this one says just to mix thoroughly. So I'm going to do just like long strokes of paint going downwards because the stain is like partially dependent on the way the strokes look. So you kind of want them to be kind pretty long. It says to just leave it on for two minutes. So I'll have this section two minutes and then I'll start another section. 
So now I'm just taking a lint free cotton um, rag and I'm just going to drag it down, get the excess stain off of it. And since I also did the edge banding, I'll go into the edge banding. The edge banding is birch and I this is like that sandy plywood that we get at Home Depot. I got water-based stain. I'm pretty sure that oil-based is better, but it's a lot more stinky and you have to wait a lot longer. I really only wanna wait an hour for this to dry and then I wanna put stuff on top of it. The only stains I've really done were like our ceiling and that stain is, um, is very light. So there's not really that much you can do to mess it up. But this stain would be a lot more visible like there's def definitely a lot more ways that i can mess this stain up all right i'm gonna pack this back up and try not to ruin the rest of the van with this stain oh my god you guys mm. this is our first test of the new bed we're so tired from working all day i love it what do you think Oh, I'm super happy it worked out. We've trained for this moment. Round two of the big fight against the gas struts. I got the equipment where I think it needs to be. Let me show you. There's basically two ways you can make them weaker. What I first tried to make this weaker was to move this. You know, once it's, once it's attached here, um, I moved it along that arc. So that's what's going on in this one right here. I basically moved it along that arc up, but the issue I faced, it didn't close all the way. The other option is if you can't make that work, moving that, you can change how far this is from the, the pivot point, from the top of the door there. Now check out this, really easy, not putting much strain on the hinges. Here it has like, it doesn't lift as much, but it does once you get to there. So I think that's a winner. I can still mess with it, make it a little bit stronger, a little bit weaker. It's gonna turn out, so I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> if you like the new bed design, let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to support us some more, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you next time for some electrical work with Danny.